Hi guys, I hope you miss me. I miss you guys. You know, I've been going through my shit. You know, I've just been like chilling, you know, clear my mind and shit like that. Um, I truly miss you guys. And um, yeah, so I'm kind of tipsy right now. Fuck it. But um, I'm going to talk about tonight because it's um, a lot of people have been waiting for this um video that's it, it, it takes steps so um my next video is talking about religion spirituality and free will okay uh for those of y'all who doesn't know me let me let me get this straight okay let, let's get this straight right now um if you're weak my channel is not for the weak okay it's not for the sensitive my only channel is my channel is for the real so if you're sensitive please go to another channel because i don't give a fuck what i say here and i don't give a fuck about your feelings okay nice and i'm feeling nice so let's get it religion okay so um you know my next um video is gonna be about spiritual awakening um so um i'm gonna start with religion there are numerous religions out there okay so when i was going to through my spiritual awakening you know um i studied numerous religions um catholic number one i went to private school so catholic school you know uh jesus christ and you know god you know god didn't have a name with catholic religion it's, it's jesus christ and, and god and stuff like that okay uh next religion i studied was jehovah witness um my baby father his family is jehovah witness and you know uh you know um very strict religion and most religions are strict um next religion i study is um baptist okay uh next religion after that was pentecostal that's religion after that was a uh, seven day adventist and um you know so on and so forth i study uh most religions uh mostly all religions okay um what i want to say about religion i'm spiritual and we're gonna get to uh this is why it's called religion uh spirituality and free will um what I noticed about uh, religions, when I was going through my spiritual awakening, um, you know, I tried to find common ground with a religion. You know, um, you know, uh, church. Um, I don't go to church, uh, not anymore. Um, I used to, but um, church. Um, I feel is uh, feel people that needs guidance, um, that doesn't have self control. Um, you know, that 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 needs order in their life. You know that's trying to find something right that's why people go to church so they join different religions that depending on what, what religion you join i study all of them like uh mostly all of them so um yeah um so you know they trying to find guidance um where do i belong you know um what is my um, purpose in life? Um, you know, self-control. I'm drinking too much. I'm using drugs. Uh, you know, um, you know. This is for people who are trying to awaken, right? Uh, what is my purpose? What am I here for? So they join a religion, right? Um, throughout my course of studying religions, um, I feel like every religion want to have control over your life, how you should live, how you should eat, what you should do, how you should, you know, um, speak and, you know, this and that and the third. Um, throughout my course, um, I never felt that like any religion belonged to me, right? That's just me. For anybody else out there, that's just that. Now, I grew up in a household where my mother was uh, a Christian, my father was an atheist, right? <laughs> so, for every Easter, Christmas, yeah, we used to go to church with our pretty dresses and whatever the case may be. But, you know, it was a controversy in the household. That's where free will steps in. But we're going to get to that. Okay, so, um, anyway, um, so my personal experience um i didn't have any um i didn't i didn't fit in to any religion you know pentecostal they wanted me to grow my hair out my my, my mustache not, not wear makeup uh jehovah witnesses you could wear makeup you could you know get your eyebrows done but you know things may go they, you know they disfellowship 
That's what they, this is called this fellowship. You know, you could get married, but if you get married um, and you want a divorce, you have to go through, you know, the, the congregation to get a divorce. It's, uh, these religions, you know, it, it takes control over your life. I mean, you know, if you if you're in a church and you know now then denominational um Jehovah Witness, I don't give a fuck what you study. Um, that's on you. All right, it's you know that's on you. I study all that shit. Ain't on me. All right. Now, spirituality. I'm a spiritualist. All right. I read tarot. You know, most people come on my shit. They be like, uh, you know, I hope you walk in the light. I hope you find God. I know God. You know. Me and God is in one, all right? And here's the thing, right? Most people that's in a religion are very judgmental and critical about other people's lives, right? Um, this is why it's called free will, which is my next topic, free will, right? You are not to say what I can and cannot do with my life. If I want to get tattoos, if I want to smoke, if I want to drink, that's my motherfucking life. When I really when I really want to find the light and when I'm praying to ascend and evolve to a better person, that's on me. You cannot change anybody's outlook on life, and that's just that. Let me get back to spirituality. I'm a spiritualist, okay? I've been homeless, okay? I've... I, I went through my, um, you know, blood, sweat, and tears in life, okay? And this is why I'm able to do these videos because God showed me my purpose and what I have to do in life. It's not for Christians and people who go to church and read the Bible. I read the Bible. Not every tarot reader is, um, you know, I, I have one of my last video, oh, tarot is, you know, witch, you know witchcraft is, is, is the devil. You know, listen. Most people join a religion because of their family, and that's God honest truth. Okay, if you haven't been brought up in a you know religion or your parents haven't, you don't know nothing about it until you know somebody in the street, you know, and then you get into it or you trying to find enlightenment or the light or try to go to the light. That's when you find, you know, when you you know that's when you start really praying and find you find your spirituality. It has nothing to do with religion, but let's get to why I'm a spiritualist. And not religious. Okay. So, um, during my course of awakening, um, I went through all these uh, religions, uh, praying and hoping, and it didn't work for me. It didn't. All right? It didn't. And um, I had to step back and read the Bible and um, figure it out for itself. Like, God is in me and that is in, I am in God. My relationship with God is for me. So for for those of you out there that feel like, oh, uh, tower readers, you know, you all are um, evil or the devils. Not all um, tower readers are the devils and evil. No, not at all. We do read the Bible, okay? And I don't I don't speak for all of us. I I speak for most of most of us that we do read the Bible. We do. Um, adhere to a god you know god uh, you know god does have a name jehovah yahweh allah you know whatever you want to call him all right some people call him buddha you know other languages all right but there is a god and he does have a name and i do apply uh all of my um whatever i do i do pray on it and um i do rely on the higher up Okay, so you cannot say that all uh, tarot readers are bad or all spiritualists or who doesn't belong in a religion. Or No, that's not the case. Okay, that's not. Uh, religion is a way to trap you into what they believe. You're not walking your truth if you're in a religion. And that's the, that's the God honest truth. Okay. When you go into a spiritual awakening, which I'm going to explain next, or spiritual journey, is your truth, is your oneness with God. And that's the bottom line. Okay? No religion, nobody could teach you that. It's just you and God, the creator of the universe. That's why we say the universe, God, you know, He omnipresent, omnipotent. He's everything. He, she. But he, we call it he, right? Yes, I do believe in God, all right?
I'm spiritualist. That's me. I know my calling. I have a gift. Do you know your calling? Do you have a gift? No. You know? Um, and um, when I do my video on uh, voodoo and witchcraft, the person who did voodoo and witchcraft on me the last time goes to church every Sunday. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we're going to see the king, right? But she did voodoo and witchcraft for me, and I know this for a fact, all right? So, um, to me, religion, church, is bullshit. Your oneness is God, in God, with God, that's all that matters. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I cursed. I don't give a fuck what you think about me. Okay? I don't. Once you don't give a fuck about what people think about you and what people don't think about you, then you're living. Got it? Then you're living. If you live for what people think about you and how you live your life and how they uh, dictate how you live your life, then you're not really fucking living your life. You're a puppet. <laughs> and that's just the bottom line. Okay? Yeah, I'm fucked up right now. But I'm, I'm, I'm speaking some facts. Alright? I don't give a fuck what people think about me. Uh, if you go to church and you're watching this channel, you shouldn't be watching this channel right now. Okay? You shouldn't be watching my voodoo and witchcraft uh, videos. Basically. But the person that did voodoo and witchcraft on me, voodoo, uh, witchcraft, go to church every Sunday. Yes. Yes. All right? And this, they say people that be preaching the Bible and you should live your life this way, but they not living correctly. Got it? The most critical, judgmental people are the people that go to church. And that's a fact. Oh, you want to be a Jehovah Witness? Okay. Once you baptize and you get into that religion, oh, they praising you, right? Once you step out, oh, this fellowship. They talking about you. I know a lot of people that go to church that talk about other people and shit like that. You're a rebel. You know what? I'd rather be a fucking rebel. Yeah, I'm a rebel. Why? I'm walking in my truth. I'm not falsifying who I am. That's spiritual awakening, which I'm going in next. Free will. Free will. We're always blessed with free will. To decide what you want to do in life and what you're not. Um, these are people we call atheists, right? My father was an atheist. He didn't believe in God, Jesus, Bible, nothing, right? That's what, that was him. His choice, his decision, right? Who am I to say that he was a bad person? He wasn't. My father was the bomb, right? But in life, you decide what's right and what's wrong. You don't need a religion to tell you what you could eat, how, who you could date, who you could marry, this and that. No, 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 no. Most people join a religion because of their family, believe it or not. Because that's how they were raised. Oh, you a seven-day Adventist? You a Jehovah Witness? Okay, I'm be a seven-day Adventist. You know, I need, I need order in my life. I need guidance. You know, I need self-control. Not knowing that they're setting themselves up for condemning. <laughs> they, it's gonna be they're gonna be condemned. Like you, you, you know. Once you join something, it's like a cult. You know, it's forever owned. Now you gotta live up to that title. Most people they can't live up to that title. They get married, they get into a, a religion, and then they realize like, oh God, this is not for me. But they don't want to show you know other people like you know they don't want to show them bad face like. Oh my God, like, I don't want this religion. I don't want, I just want to live in peace. I want to live by myself. I want to be my free, free, free. They can't. It's called in too deep, right? They're in too deep, right? So you know what they do? They live in a lie. They're not walking in their truth. They're not walking in the light, in the light. They will forever be in the darkness, although they in a religion. <laughs> People don't get this. Right? So if I join a religion, right? Say for instance, I want to be a Jehovah Witness. Listen to me carefully. 
and I get baptized a Jehovah Witness, right? That means I'm for Jehovah. I'm going to knock on doors. I'm going to preach the word. I'm going to tell you the world's coming to an end. I'm going to do my part as a Jehovah Witness, right? Now, if I start cheating and stepping out, la la la, right? I'm not walking in the light anymore. I'm walking in the dark. I'm not walking in their light. Their light. I'm walking in the dark. I'm not allowing them to control my life. I'm doing me. Right? So you know what? I'm the enemy. I'm the devil. I'm going towards the devil. I'm going towards darkness. Not the light. What they deem to be the truth. Because every, every religion is the truth. But you know what's the truth? The truth is finding your oneness with God and finding your purpose in life. That's the truth. Walking in life in your truth. You know, do you need a church to tell you that you're drinking too much or that you're overeating? No. Only people that need that is people that have no self-control and no guidance. Understandable. Understandable. Right? Okay. You don't need a church to tell you how to live your life. As long as you know as above, so below. Right? And you're oneness with God and you read your Bible and you listen to the word. Spiritual food is the best food. Right? I, li I listen to T.D. Jakes and I listen to... Um, uh, Joyce Meyer, Dr. Charles Stanley, um, and uh, what's his name? I, I, yo, I got his book, but <laughs> I can't think of his name right now. But I listen to all type of preachers, right? Because spiritual food is the best food. Doesn't mean I belong to religion. Joe Osteen, that's his name. Joe Osteen, I like him. I love him. All right. Doesn't mean that I committed to a religion. Just need just means that I'm a spiritualist and I need spiritual balance. And you know, listen to listening to the word provides that for me. As a spiritualist, free will. Free will is when you don't know anything about God and you know uh, the universe and you know what are you here for? You know, you just living. You just fuck it, right? Hey, some people was, were raised not knowing any of these things. You can't knock them, right? They get into drugs. They didn't get into prostitution. You know, they know it's wrong. You know, they have intuitions, but most people don't listen to it, their intuitions, especially when they're not religious and spiritual. They just get into shit, right? Can you knock them? No. Most religious person, uh, religious, uh, that's in religion, uh, judge people. Who are you to judge? The only judge is God, right? Because at the end, at the end of the day, all of us are going to be judged. You, me, whoever, right? Now, free will. Free will is when you just take it upon yourself to say, fuck it, I don't believe in anything. I'm going to live my life the way I want to live it. So if you want to be a prostitute, drug addict, drug dealer, okay, that's on you, right? For every um, action is a reaction, correct? So you have to deal with that. Not everybody knows that, right? It's not until you evolve, which my other videos say that you evolve, is that you get to learn um, what am I here for, what is my purpose, um, this is not a third. Ascended to a high level. Some people are content being drug addicts or being in the streets. Okay. Who am I or you to change their outlook and how they think? Most people want to do that. Especially religious people that's in the church. Oh, you know, Jesus is going to condemn you. God is going to condemn you. Guess what? I believe in God and Jesus. Right? And I believe in tarot. But it's not for you. To tell me what I can and cannot do and what I should and should not believe in. If you believe in what you believe in, that's your 
choice. That's why it's called free will. If they want to use drugs and they want to stay in the street and they think their life is copacetic, that's their motherfucking choice. Bottom line, I'm a spiritualist. I believe in the Bible and not all tarot readers don't believe in the Bible. That's bullshit. Okay? So don't come on here preaching to me, oh, I hope you find the light. I, I am in the light. I hope you motherfucking find the light. Okay? I hope you motherfucking find the light. Because most of, most of y'all is in a religion and you're not even living your truth. Okay? And one thing about God, God hates a phony. To be in the religion and you know your heart is not there and your mind is not there and you cheating and you lying and you, you know. Uh, yeah. Okay. And that's going to go to my next video when you're spiritually awakening. Okay. I'm kind of fucked up right now. So I'm like kind of slurring, but I don't give a fuck because I got to get these videos out. And, um, you know, free will is doing whatever. It's until that person want to wake up. And change their mind on their outlook on life. It's not up to me, you, or anybody to change their outlook. We could say, hey, hey, you know, Jesus Christ and God, hey, you don't judge. And you don't, you don't, you don't predict or you don't um, tell people what they should or should not believe in. It's their life. Let them leave, live their life. Leave them the fuck alone. Okay, and I speak for myself and anybody out there who's a tarot reader and who people condemn and this and that. Yo, it's not you to judge me. It's me and God. It's my relationship with God. Not me and you, motherfucker. It's me and God. Okay, let's get this shit straight. You know, most people go, uh, you, you need to find a light. Bitch, are you walking in the light? Because I'm walking in, the, I've been walking in the light. All right. I pray every fucking day. All right? Not all tarot readers don't believe in God and the Bible. Let's 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 get that fucking shit straight. Oh, yeah, you read tarot, you tapping into uh, the this the devil. Yeah, bitch. Listen. How many times your witness say the world is coming to an end? Has it come to an end? Are you a, a psychic? Nobody's a fucking psychic. So, it's not for you, me, or anybody to tell anybody how to live. And what to live is me and God. It's you and God. Keep your opinions to your motherfucking self. Got it? When you come on my motherfucking channel. Alright? I don't give a fuck about what you think about me. And that's another thing. I don't give a fuck what you think about me. What you say about me. Uh, I don't give a fuck. Because bottom line. Uh, I know my purpose. I done meditated. I done been through my shit in life to why it, it, I'm here on YouTube. Have you been through shit? Have you really studied and shit? Like, no. No, you haven't. Okay? No. All right? I study all religions. And I'm a spiritualist. I'm not a I, I don't. I don't believe in religion. Okay? Nobody gonna control my life. Nobody gonna tell me what to do, what to eat, how to dress, how to speak. Fuck that. I'm me. Me and God. That's the bottom line. I'm a spiritualist. Free will? Hey, yo, you do what the fuck you want to do. When you want to find uh, solace and uh, sovereignty, you do that. Hey, it ain't me and you to save people, right? If people want to listen to the message, they listen. That's what I'm here for. They don't. They just don't. Okay. They want to, you know, you can't control how people think and how to live their life. And that's just, just the bottom line. Okay? And damn sure me, I'm a strong-minded person. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to fucking change the way I think and the way I live. No. Because I got this far without you motherfuckers. And I'm going to continue to get far, further in life. It's just me and God. My oneness with God. <laughs> and that's just the bottom line. Anyway, part, um, next video, oh shit, I'm fucking up. Next video, I'm going to talk about, um, uh, spiritually, spiritual awakening, spiritual awakening, okay? I love you guys, I'm possible, you're possible, you're SC Touch Tie.
subscribe, thumbs up, like, I'm out. I'm drunk. <laughs>